Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. In, in our previous video, we have looked at the principle of operation of a distributor type injection pump. Now let's have a look at how it is driven. As we have discussed previously, this has to undergo two types of motion. There is a reciprocatory motion where it is going to reciprocate inside the distributive head. Reciprocating inside the distributive head to admit in fuel and then discharge. And also in order to distribute fuel, the plunger has to rotate. It has to rotate in order to distribute diesel fuel to the different fuel injectors depending on the firing order. Now let's have a look at some of the components that are used in order to do this. Well, first let's install the springs. There are return springs. You know the plunger will be returned to the BDC by a return spring. We have tough springs that are going to be inserted in here. And then there is a spill ring. Right here we have the spill ring. Before the spill ring there is a lower spring seat. This is the lower spring seat that is going to support this spring. It will be inserted in such a fashion. Then we have the spill ring inserted. It should be like so. See? Now, when this plunger is pushed up by the cam plate assembly, it will compress these two springs. These are the plunger return springs. And it will travel up into the distributive head, discharging. And as the cam plate moves further, this return spring will return the entire assembly back to BDC. So, forward motion of the plunger is activated by the cam plate assembly. Return is done by these return springs. So, it will be pushed in for discharging. It will be pushed in this way and then the return springs will return it to the original position. Now, let's go ahead and assemble the driving assembly. For the driving assembly, right here, we have a cam plate. The cam plate have a pin, and this pin is going to be inserted into this wheel of the plunger. See, there is a keyway, and this key is going to be inserted into the keyway, and as the cam plate is rotating, that pin will rotate the plunger with the cam plate. See there? That is the one that is activating the rotary motion. And on some plungers, there is a plunger adjust plunger height adjusting shim to be inserted right in here. There is a shim to be inserted that is used to adjust the height of the plunger. Now, when you look at the lower side of the cam plate, it has irregularities it has highs and lows see these highs and lows these are the ones that is going to cause the reciprocatory motion when it is on this point the, the the entire assembly will be pushed up goes down pushed up goes down let's see how that is done right here we have the roller ring the roller ring is actually a one that is going to support the cam plate assembly. For the roller ring, we have rollers. Let's assemble the rollers. Rollers are in place. The lower part is called the roller link, and these right here are the rollers. Now the cam plate is to be placed on the rollers. So the cam plate will be placed on the rollers. And when the cam plate is rotating, as you can see, now the cam plate is on its lowest position because the rollers are resting on the lower part of the cam plate. And then when it is rotating, look, now it is going up because this inclined surface is climbing, on, onto, climbing onto the roller. Now the roller is at the TDC position. 
plunger is moved forward that means then further travel of the cam plate will make it to drop in height so this is how the reciprocating is activated going up going down going up going down up down this is how it is activated now in order to drive this in order to drive the cam plate we have the shaft this is the VE injection pump shaft. The VE injection pump comes as a coupling. There is a coupling. This coupling is to be inserted in such a fashion. Some couplings have a spring in here. Some don't. Some have spring. Right here we have a coupling. And the roller, it has to be coupled to the coupling. When the shaft is rotating, it will rotate the cam plate through the coupling. So this will be inserted from down to up. It will be inserted in such a fashion. So you can see now the coupling is rotating. And then this is going to be assembled. Such a fashion. Now, when I rotate the shaft, as you can see, the cam plate is rotating. This is how rotary motion is activated. And due to the complete, the, due to this complete profile, the complete is reciprocating and rotating at the same time. Then our plunger will be placed right here. Then we have the spring seat. The spring seat followed by the speed ring and then this is going to be inserted into the distributive head align the spring seat so there you have it this is how it is assembled so rotation of the cuff will rotate the coupling and that will rotate the cam plate. When cam plate is rotating, due to that pin, due to that dowel, it will rotate the plunger. And due to this irregular shape of the prof the cam loop shape of the cam plate, it will reciprocate. So this is the principle of operation of the entire driving assembly of the plunger. And by moving the spill ring up and down, like we have discussed in our previous video, we can control the injection fuel volume. There is a linkage mechanism that is going to be inserted in here that will reciprocate the spill ring depending on the driver's intention. So this is how it is assembled and this is how it is driven. And whenever you are assembling this injection pump shaft to the plunger pin you should be very careful about the direction of assembly what do we mean by that the direction of assembly can be two different directions look so there is a wood rough key right here on the cam plate and the plunger is going to be inserted in such a fashion now there is two way of assembling this. You can put it like so and you can reverse it and put it like so. Now only one of them is correct. So which way is correct? The correct way of uh, installing the template wood rough key in relation to the shaft is the wood rough key and the keyways on the injection pump camshaft, they should face to the same direction. Right now, for example, see the wood rough key is facing this way and the keyway is also facing this way. So this is the correct way of assembling. Otherwise, if you reverse it, if you reverse it, if you say reverse it like this, it means you have changed the timing by 180 degree opposite. So that will prevent the engine from starting. So every time when you assemble, make sure that 
These QAs on the injection pump shaft assembly are pointing in the direction of the wood rough key. The wood rough key on the cam plate should be assembled. This keyway should be assembled in such a way that it faces to similar direction of this shaft keyway. So now this is the correct way of assembling the wood rough key and this it has to be aligned. So always remember that. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding the driving mechanism of a VE injection pump plunger assembly. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing, turn on notification, so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.